Short video today, but I thought this one was worth covering. If you weren't tracking, CISA, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, had made available their malware next-gen analysis system. It's all public, you can go log in, and I had tried, but there's a little bit more to tell here. Because if we take a look at this article, this is Bleeping Computer, they put this out and about, look, anyone could dig in, what's originally designed to allow US federal, state, local, tribal, and territorial government agencies to submit suspicious files files like malware and receive automated analysis through static and dynamic analysis tools. So sweet, another online environment for that malware research, security research, anything that we're interested in, but uh, it's peculiar because Hey, there are some stipulations of components here. You do need to log in and register with a login.gov account. Obviously, this is coming from that government entity. Hey, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, CISA as an offshoot branch for that. They offer the capability to remain anonymous if you'd like to just submit malware samples. You can do that even as an unregistered user, though it does ask for your first name and last name and organization uh, and phone number and email address. So I'm unsure how anonymous you, I don't know. I, I could totally be wrong on that. If you are registered and you create yourself as a member, then you will get the detailed report and the analysis. They don't intend this to be, hey, another virus total or any other equivalent for an online sandbox and analysis tool. But at the end of the day, this was pretty cool. At least sounds exciting. Look, we're encouraging everyone, all organizations, security researchers, and individuals to dive in, register, and submit some files for analysis with that login.gov account. If you follow through with the links here, you'll go to CISA's webpage and their announcement, their release. Hey, you could dig into the next generation analysis with some more of the details here. They go through and explain everything with the usual kind of boilerplate. Hey, you're accessing what would be a government system, etc., etc. Stuff to just bear in mind. And login.gov obviously kind of needs a little bit more authentication to dig through. There is a opportunity to report malware for the anonymous option. That was just simple captcha. Hey, uh, oh. I haven't seen this one. Place a dot at the end of the car's path, like over there. It starts here. Does that work? Okay, I too am human. Now, I know this is meant to be anonymous, but I maybe I'm just misunderstanding because I thought there's an asking for some of the details there. And I don't know if that's just for tracking sake. Maybe it's not included. I don't know. But the other one that's worthwhile to chat about is the malware next gen analysis sandbox thing itself, which does require the authentication, logging in, have an account created through login.gov. And if we go there, um, currently it is down for maintenance and look, this came to light maybe a week ago, but now malware next gen is currently unavailable for maintenance. Maintenance when it will begin at the time of recording. So I am unable to showcase it. Now, let me say, I don't know if this is the reason for the maintenance period. If they're making some changes, if they're updating things, if they're fixing things, because from at least from what I could tell as I logged in, the thing looked broken. If you created your account, login.gov, signed up and registered, and then logged in, you were presented with this page. The account does not have access to this page. And that was it. Uh, you have a couple options here. I don't know if you wanted to search for something, but that wouldn't return anything. Uh, if you click search the entire database, uh, hitting enter, doing any query would not return anything. The links in the navigation up here, submit my submissions, all submissions, there were not links. You, you couldn't click on them. It didn't do anything. Now, let me say, I thought I was crazy. I didn't expect that at all, uh, but I did see some others out on the internet airwaves. Silas, hey, good researcher, incredible person, showcasing, here's the it. Here is the malware next gen login. If you go through login.gov, he's taking it for a test drive here. You just log in, create an account, you get the boilerplate US government information system, blah, blah, blah. This was after a lot of the announcements, but login page after registration, that's the link page that I was just showing you. You could drill down into the analysis tools or the analyst tools, sorry. And that would show you some options to do a domain query like the who is command and NS lookup. So there's that. And then really the navigation links, any of the functionality did not seem to do anything. They were not links. They were just text on the top navigation bar. <laughs> if you're looking for other breadcrumbs and some of the other conversations about this following the release, uh, again, I just tend to see some more of the questions. Uh, look, is this thing working? <laughs> 
And please, pretty please, let me say, I don't know. I don't know if this was just an accident or it's based off permissions. Like the way that any of us registered was not the way that we should have. There were just really actual permissions or privileges problems and the sandbox just is still there, but not accessible to us. And I don't mean by any means to be dogging on my friends over at SZA. They're doing incredible stuff all the time. I love their Shields Up campaign. They're doing great, great work. But this one, it just makes me giggle. <laughs> Like, this has been out for a week or so now, and th <laughs> they're not even links. I don't know. Maybe this update fixes things. I think this video is going to release just following after that, so we'll see if now it's available. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.